It's my great pleasure to address you on the occasion of the 2012 IASA Annual Conference, and I'm truly sorry that I cannot be with you in person. In fact, I have just returned from Jeju, where Typhoon Sanba provided a nature-based solution allowing some of us to stay on and have a little rest. A typhoon just before and just after the Congress was apparently unusual for Korea in September, but reminded us about the effects of climate change and the great power of nature. As you know, we have just concluded our four yearly IUCN World Conservation Congress on the South Korean island of Jeju with a great majority of the 1,272 government and non-governmental members of IUCN, including IAZA. The theme of the Congress was Nature Plus, which captures the fundamental importance of nature and its inherent link to every aspect of our lives. Many discussions at the Jeju Congress focused on how IUCN can support the Aichi biodiversity targets, which were adopted by le nearly 200 governments at the Conference of the Parties to the Convention on Biological Diversity held in 2010. The IUCN Congress concluded with some key directions for conserving life on Earth. First, that when done properly, conservation does work and that we must significantly scale up successful conservation programs. Second, that we must, must reach out more than ever before to governments, businesses and citizens around the world to secure their support for conservation. Effective communications, therefore, will be a key to achieve this. Third, that we must value nature and seek innovative ways to raise much needed resources for conservation. The work of IAZA is central to achieving all of these objectives. Between now and the year 2020, more than 1.5 billion visitors are expected to come through the doors of IAZA zoos and aquariums. For many of these people, this will be the first time they would come into contact with live animals. For many others, this may well be their one and only opportunity to see some species that are increasingly rare and threatened in their natural habitats. And a great majority of these people will leave with a stronger connection to nature as a result of their visit. This is exactly what all those ga gathered in Jeju wanted to achieve. IAZA zoos and aquariums promote social and emotional learning using the wonders of seeing a living species to inspire enthusiasm and dedication to conserve biodiversity. With your 345 members in 41 countries, IAZA is without a doubt one of the most Pu powerful public awareness networks in the world. But it does much more than that, and I'm very much aware of this. With extinction rates growing, ex situ con conservation plays an increasingly crucial role to support the long-term existence of many species. Through its Species Survival Commission, IUCN has joined forces with the ex situ community through IAZA to advance global species conservation efforts. Through the Building Bridges program, IUCN, SSC, and IAZA are working to harness complementary expertise from their respected networks and to use both in situ and ex situ conservation for a more holistic approach towards saving wild species from extinction. The program has already linked up many IUCN SSC specialist groups and IAZA taxonomy advisory groups, and I very much, much encourage as many zoos as possible to get involved with this important initiative. IAZA's involvement in coordinating over 450 XC2 breeding programs many of which are focused on species that are listed as critically endangered or extinct in the wild on the IUCN Red List is another concrete way of bringing our two communities together. Another great joint initiative is the IUCN SSC IAZA Action Asia campaign 
to raise awareness and funds for the conservation of the rich biodiversity of Southeast Asia. The target is to raise 750,000 euros over the next two years. More than 125 of Europe's leading zoos are campaigning to make a significant and lasting difference to the continued survival of endangered South East Asian species and their habitats, including tigers, rhinos, antelopes, and turtles. I am very impressed by the fact that over the past decade, IASA has raised nearly 4 million euros for conservation projects around the world. This supported, for example, IUCN's efforts to combat illegal bushmeat trade, promote reforestation of protected areas in Madagascar, and prevent extinction of amphibian species. All of these initiatives make a positive contribution to the achievement of the 20 Aichi targets and the IUCN program for the next four years, which our members just adopted at the World Conservation Congress. IUCN would not be able to achieve its mission without the combined efforts of its members. I am delighted that IAZA and also WAZA are among this membership, and I encourage all IAZA members to join us, along with many individual zoos in all parts of the world. I would like to thank IAZA's executive director, Leslie Dickey, and each and every one of you for your steadfast support and commitment to achieving the IUCN vision of a just world that values and conserves nature. Thank you again, and I wish you a great conference. I truly wish I could be with you. Thank you very much.